the Service Employees International Union, the SEIU, is the single largest contributor to federal political candidates in the United States. In total, the SEIU and its associated political action committees have spent over $270 million on federal politics and over $67 million on state and local partisan political campaigns, almost exclusively on behalf of Democrats and progressive causes. It's worth asking the question why? What do they have to gain? Like all unions, they have a vested interest in enacting policies that will help them increase their membership and increase their dues collections. Like other unions, the SEIU is willing to be aggressive to make those things happen. When the SEIU wanted to unionize employees of food service provider Sodexo, the union's tactics proved so aggressive that the SEIU ended up settling a case Sodexo brought against the union in which the SEIU was accused of, quote, blackmail, vandalism, trespass, harassment, and lobbying law violations. And in the SEIU's campaign manual, they stated, quote, it may be a violation of blackmail and extortion laws to threaten management officials with the release of dirt about them if they don't settle a contract but there is no law against union members who are angry at their employer deciding to uncover and publicize factual information about individual managers. The SEIU has used their political spending to aid politicians in multiple states who have passed laws opening home health care aides up to unionization by the SEIU, forcing them to pay dues. Caregivers who objected to paying dues for nominal SEIU representation sued the state of Illinois, and in 2014, the Supreme Court ruled in the caregivers' favor, exempting home health care aides from forced dues. Given the focus on obtaining more dues revenue and political power, it's not surprising that the SEIU has been involved in multiple major corruption scandals. One leader pleaded guilty to charges related to over $500,000 of embezzled funds. Another directed $600,000 in contracts to his wife, used union dues to pay for his cigar club membership, and put $8,000 in wedding expenses on the union credit card. Caring about employees and making sure they have the power to negotiate with their employers successfully doesn't need to mean supporting unions if they've acted wrongly. Let's support employees, not their dues collector, the SEIU. To learn more, read our full article on InfluenceWatch.org. I'm Michael Watson. Thanks for watching.